interval. Uh, yes. What's the song for a perfect four? Yeah. Uh, sing us. Uh, sing it. Go on. Uh, yeah, you and it came down. Okay. Your, your training is something just to work on so that you can get stronger with it. Okay. But you have to work on making sure that these intervals are all right in so that you're getting, they're getting the right tonality and the right sound that he proved for. Okay, now, you have to be careful here at the beginning when there's, when there's no meter, there's no time signature, okay? <coughs> it, a lot of times um, what happens is, is that people, when there's not a pulse or a beat to go on, they tend to wait too long to go from one thing to the next. So in all these, in all these fermatas, you're, you're taking a long time and what you want, I think, okay, is for all these events to sort of connect into a phrase, even though you don't have a rhythm and a time signature. So you want, see how these are short for miles, and that one's a longer one, right? So these are short, okay? That's a longer one, there's none there, right? So you, you, you want to, I would actually tell you to move through this faster with not so many not so many long pauses mm -hmm. so that the events kind of go from one to the next and they connect a little bit. Okay? Yeah. Alright. That, that's, that's, it's hard to interpret this kind of music, but generally I would tell you to move through it faster and don't wait so long in between each of the events because it, it helps one thing to flow to the next. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Uh, and this, this one, just make sure you keep the left hand soft. Okay? It got, got started getting loud over here when they both get loud here, but just keep that triple thing on. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. okay. Okay. Good. Now, uh, this section I like is very nice. Okay. Uh, here with this, it's only forte here at the beginning, right? And it does get it does get faster and a little louder. But you got to be careful as you're going into this on these two drums. It's really easy to overplay, especially with that. That's hard to do and it's fast. And so you got to make sure you know exactly where you're striking so you keep a tone and not just bangity, bangity, bang on some tom toms. Okay? So just be careful that you don't overplay and that you're really careful on these two drums <coughs> to play it in the right spot so you still get a, a nice musical sound and not just sort of a tom tom kind of sound. Okay? Now, that, then, um, and also here, okay, so this, this figure here and this figure here are basically the same, right? Okay? So what you want to do is after you go through this whole thing, okay? Faster and louder and faster and louder. It's like you're ripped up. You're ah! Ah. Okay. You, you sort of lose all the momentum you build up here. If you wait too long before you go back to this, you kind of lose it. So then again, it's just, it's not, don't wait too long. I'll tell you to go sooner. It's because you do all this build up and build up and build up. You lose because you waited a really long time to get back over here. And it kind of loses the connection from this phrase to this phrase. Okay? Yeah. Now the other big thing, okay? Okay, okay yeah. We do not okay, think up. It's not, I'm not I've said this a billion times today, it's not a dirty carpet on the clothesline that we're whacking. So as you play loud, and I love loud playing. sounds all the time. It's easy to get carried away and okay. Don't get carried away and be a good musician. Think about the sound that you're getting. Okay? 